Hello, my dear friends, and welcome. Today, I am going to talk to you about the three R's of self-care. Hello, I'm Vicki with Even So It Is Well. If you're a first-time viewer, welcome. I'm glad you're here. On this channel, I share my thoughts on living well with chronic illness. This does not mean that my thoughts are medical advice, and it also doesn't mean that my thoughts are necessarily going to agree with your thoughts. It just means that I'm thoughtful. Today, we're going to talk about the three R's of self-care. I'm on vacation. This morning, my husband and I drove out to Cape Cod for our annual trip here. This is a true vacation where we don't plan a thing. The only thing I plan to do when I'm on vacation here is a lot of self-care. If you think self-care is important, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, the like button below. The first R is required. Did you know that half of our population suffers from at least one chronic condition? It's so important that we schedule our own self-care time. If we don't take care of ourselves, our bodies can't heal and we are not going to be able to take care of others. Have you heard of the spoon theory? Each of us has a certain number of spoons in our drawer every day. And if we use up all those spoons, going to the grocery store, cooking, taking care of business, taking care of kids, going to our job, doing the laundry, if we use up all our spoons, that's it. We're done for the day. We have nothing left to give and we hit a wall. So doing self-care helps us maintain our spoons or improve the number of spoons that we have. It's also important for us to schedule self-care time to get us out of our regular routines. You know, the doing laundry, cooking, cleaning, going to work, everything that we do on a daily basis. If we don't schedule some time for self-care, it goes to the back burner and it never gets done. So do you schedule self-care time? Let me know in the comments below if you do. It's really important that we do schedule time for self-care. Maybe not a vacation, maybe just five minutes a day, maybe 20 minutes a day. If we don't schedule time for self-care, we're going to be running on empty. We can't pour from an empty cup. We can't do the things in our lives that we want to do if we're running on empty. So it's really important for us to take time for ourselves so we can replenish and we can refill. The second R is rest. Taking time to rest is really important with self-care. Our bodies want to be well, they want to heal, but if we're not getting adequate rest and we're constantly on the go and constantly depleting ourselves and are constantly in a state of fatigue, our bodies cannot heal. They want to heal and we have to give ourselves permission to stop and breathe and let our body heal. Doing nothing is really good for your body. It gives your body time to heal. It gives your cells time to get back to being healthy. If we're chronically fatigued, if we're always on the go, if we're not taking care of ourselves, we're not going to get better. We're only going to get worse. And if you take time to rest, you're also going to help with anxiety and mood disorders and depression. Did you know that 50 to 70% of MS sufferers suffer from depression? And I'm sure that's the same with many other chronic illnesses. The third R is rejuvenation. Self-care includes rejuvenating your body. First, with food. Make every bite count. You're fueling your system and you're fueling your body, and that is a really good source of self-care. Make sure that what you're fueling your body with is as healthy as can be. It is nutrient-dense and is going to do good. Everything you put into your body is either helping or hurting your body. The second way you can rejuvenate yourself is with exercise. I find that if I don't exercise, I feel worse. So I need to exercise to keep my body healthy. When I exercise, I feel better emotionally and physically. So it's important for us to get exercise to keep ourselves in tip-top shape. This form of self-care is essential. Even if you have limitations from your chronic illness, do some sort of exercise every day to help you stay in your top physical condition. 
Another way to rejuvenate yourself is with meditation. When we meditate, we help our bodies by slowing our heart rate, by lowering our blood pressure, and helping our bodies be as healthy as can be. This is an essential part of my self-care routine. It's also the part that I struggle the most with. So I use tools to help me with my meditation. There's an Insight Timer app and the Headspace app, and I will put links in the description below to both of those. I have them on my phone, and they have various ways to help us meditate, and I encourage you to check them out. Thanks so much for watching today's video. The question of the day is, what are your tips for self-care? I would love to know what you do in your self-care routine to help you deal with your chronic illness. Please put it in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please make sure that you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.